Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, hi everyone, thank you for joining us today for the community test. I am putting a link to today's worksheet here in the chat window. Um, please note the, um, the version of Node that we're using. We're working straight out of dev today. Um, and so that's the most recent commit. Also, please note the bootstrap address. Do not start your node yet, please. Let me repeat that. You're welcome to install node, get ready to run, and do not connect to bootstrap yet. Um, we're waiting for the network to come up. Um, we have done a considerable amount of work since our last testing session, um, and there were there's some things uh, we'll call out um, that are improvements that we will get to enjoy. Um, but our goal here today is to um, deploy rolling to an existing validator that is not me. Um, to, as part of that exercise, if you are interested in going through the bonding process, to bond, uh, to place your bond uh, to an existing validator, again, that is not me, um, and demonstrate the ability to be bonded, um, which means that you would be successful in proposing your own blocks and adding to the block DAG that way. Um, we did that as a team yesterday um, with, some, with success. I'm hoping to be able to repeat that here. Um, so that's that's the status. So use this time right now, please, to get ready. Ready here means that you have installed the proper version of Node and you are prepared to connect to the network and you are not connecting to the network. And I'll share my screen here in just a moment. Where do we um, get instructions for bonding? Um, that's a good question. Let me make sure I called that out here. I didn't. Thanks for the question, Jim. Let me grab the link for you. I found the uh, tutorial on bonding through the faucet. Is that the? Uh... Oh, no, uh, I just put a link in the chat. It's in the user guide. And if you look, there's a section called bonding to a network. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, I should have known that. Sorry, I seems to miss something. Uh, what are we doing now? Um, installing the current version of Node, uh, the version of Node that we're using, um, and being ready to connect to a network, but not yet. Please. Oh, okay. Mash, can you let me know when we're ready, when the network is up and running? Please. Yep. Thank you. So, not Zipper and Joshi, I know that you guys have gone through the bonding protocol before. Jim, will this be the first time for you? Or have you done it before too? I don't remember. Forgive me. Um, I did it before. Uh, uh, I think I did it, did it in uh, uh, Berlin. Okay. Uh, Okay, so 
Yeah, I, I've been through a process. Okay. Um, so I, I want to talk a little bit about, about the process and, and what we're going to do today versus what you might expect in the future. Um, so the, the exercise today is to, um, is to confirm that uh, the protocol that's in place today works. And so what that means is, uh, as a node operator, you are able to um, deploy the two contracts that are required for bonding, that those contracts get caught up in blocks onto the network um, through the use of through the support of existing validators. And that once all of your information has been added to the, the proof of stake contract, that then you are able to uh, function and behave as a validator alongside all of the other validators. So that's that's what we're doing today. Um, when you think about um, the platform at, at mainnet launch or at, at, I think, the phase three of our test net, um, that process will be somewhat different. Um, you would still need to, uh, through it, Val, you know, joining as a validator would still require you to deploy contract, a contract or contracts to existing validators, but the what happens afterwards will be different, meaning that, um, that you'll be put into a pool of, of uh, people who would like to validate and that the protocol would then support adding you as a validator um, according to that protocol. That protocol is not in place yet. In fact, it's not fully defined yet. Um, but I just do want to call out that what we're doing today is not what you can expect um, bonding as a validator to be like once once we have a more complete platform. Um, and I think that's important for likely validators to know if you're, you know, this is not the end game. Um, this is a baby step. All right, we are in the process of cleaning up the, the test net and getting it up and running again. I guess uh, something you can do in this moment, if, if you are planning to bond today and um, is to generate those two, uh, those two bonding files that you'll need, the forward and the bond. and then make sure that you have those in place. All right, so Bootstrap is up. Um, so I'll, I'll just drop the address here in the chat. Uh, here is the Bootstrap address. Mix, is that it? No, that is not the Bootstrap address. Don't use that. Here is the Bootstrap address in all its glory. Um, and so you're welcome to connect to that. If you are planning on joining as a validator, please make sure to include your private key in your run command. It is also helpful um, to increase your default timeout. Jim, what size machine are you running today? And I will share my screen for those of you who are following along. All right, so what you can see on the left-hand side of my screen is uh, the node that I'm running. And you can see that it is started. Um, it is connected to Bootstrap. It has received the uh, Genesis block, that is the valid approved block. Um, we can observe that here's the Genesis block number. 
um, and that it's starting to appear. But here's the important part. Um, it's made into a transition to the approved block received handler state. In other words, Casper has started, and this is important um, for Casper to start in a node, what, regardless of, of what you're, if you're, you always need Casper to start to be both a read-only node or to be a validator node. So that's something always to look for as you're getting started. Um, the next thing I want to observe is a connection to peers. I know we have um, five valid, uh, bootstrap plus five validators. So I'm looking to get six peers and there they are. And it looks like they've got other people in the network as well. So that's good. Peering is important in a peer-to-peer uh, -peer network. All right, let's see if we can. So on the right-hand side of my screen, what you're observing are is a, the aggregation of the logs. And so you can see we're looking at Bootstrap and validators one, two, and three, and then me. And I can see that NutZipper has joined the network. OK. So all looks right with the world there. So let's just take a peek. Oops. Since we just started this network, my guess is we're just going to see the Genesis block, and that's correct. There it is, Genesis block zero. Um, Tomash, can you help me with the address where people can deploy to, please? Sure. Thanks. Hmm. We did it to validator one earlier. Is that the right one? Yeah, we could do it to this, but uh, it has different address now. Okay. Also, call out that um, this the process that we're going to do right now, uh, which is deploying rolling to an existing validator. Um, you know, we're going to specify the the validator's address so that your rolling knows where to go. Um, and this process will probably also be a little bit different when we get into a public testnet scenario. Um, there's some you know there's some vulnerabilities to opening up a node. Uh, to just anyone to deploy things to it. That's we want to protect and and assure, ensure that nodes stay up and running and are um, reliable. Um, and we also know we need to, uh, uh, the ability for people to deploy rolling to them. So what we're doing today is not um, exactly like what it will be when we get to a place in the public test net where um, is more is will be more similar to the platform at mainnet launch. Okay, thank you. So Dimash has pasted in the chat window. There are three validators that you can uh, deploy rolling to. You don't need to deploy rolling to all of them. Um, so you can choose one. And what that means is uh, using, uh, specifying the gRPC host and then the address of that validator and then deploying rolling to it. If, yeah, that's a good call, Josh. You just, you do just need the IP address. Um, so what you can do right now is, if you'd like, you can, um, if you're interested in bonding as a validator, you can start deploying those contracts. And we can watch. Um, if you'll let me know what node you're deploying to, we can look at the logs to look at that. Uh, Kelly, I have the same message that in previous session about invalid host or port. Interesting. Valid host. That's what we discussed with Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's try and triage that. Joshi, did you, you were successful in deploying? 
deploying, yeah. That's that's all I've done so far. Okay. Now, Zipper, is it possible that uh, your keyboard has some Unicode characters that are not in ASCII? Uh, let me check. Or perhaps uh, if, you, if you're copying it from web browser, it's possible that the web browser embeds some Unicode character, for example, non-breaking space or something like this. Uh, could someone copy that command from the chat mm -hmm. and try yep. sub substituting the key? Can I actually, I'll just do, let me do this. Oh. I copied this from the chat and tried so to omit the possibility of copy paste problems. Huh? Oh, I got the same thing. Exciting. All right. So I copied what you pasted in the chat. I changed the what I was deploying. That was the only change that I made. And got the that's the same error you were getting, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. Can, I, can you try adding equal sign, equal sign between the IP address and the flag? An equal sign between the IP address and the flag. So after host before 35? Mm -hmm. okay. And without space in between. Is that uh, correct? Yeah, just delete the space. Delete the space oh, out. I see what you're saying. Thank you. All right, let's yeah, go Like this. Interesting. So, for what it's worth, if if it had if it had been me, uh, wait, I think there are two spaces between the seven and the deploy. I agree. Uh, yeah, let's give that a try. It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. No. Uh, yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, at least we got a different error. <laughs> it's really weird. Hold on, let me see my. I was just able to deploy to that same IP address with the same flow oh, limit and price with no problem. I, I see it. Excellent. Or not. Uh, no. Uh, Kelly? Yeah. Mm, wait a second. Uh, just... I'm looking up. IP address to be quoted. IP address. This is the one. So, go ahead. Yeah, give me, hold on just a second. I'm trying something. Okay. Oops.
Okay. So, uh, can you please uh, copy the space uh, in your first command at the top of your screen when you have gRPC host um, uh, at the top of your screen? Oh, okay. So, there is a space after the 37 in mm -hmm. the command line. Mm -hmm. So, please copy the space after 37, just after 37. Copy. Oh, you think there's something in there? And I posted in the chat a link and yep. try to paste it in the link. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, paste it and enter. And search. Yeah. Uh, you paste it? I did paste it. Let me make, validate that. I mean, I can't see anything. Yeah, because when I pasted it to, to there is no space. It's some, um, yeah. Something invisible there. So I, I can confirm that when I use the deployment um, command that I typically use, it worked. So there is something funky in NetZipper's deploy command. And I want to know what. Can you test one? Why? So why not to use the one that works? It's wrong with the one that works. I'm sorry, Pablo, say that again, please. Oh, sorry, the question was, I see a success, so what the, what's the problem? Well, the problem is, so the success was, this is my deploy command, and it worked. The problem is that up here, I copy and pasted the, the deploy command that NutZipper is using, and it didn't work. And where, where did you copy paste it from? From the chat in this Zoom. Can you can you copy paste that and paste that to like a notepad or something and then bring it back? Or just copy paste it from here. Can you copy paste that from here? Yes. And where do you want me to put it? I'll just run it, but just paste it here one more time. Copy paste the line that you. Okay. So I'm pasting it here. I'm pasting it now in the Zoom chat. No, not in the Zoom chat. Oh, where do you want me to paste it? <laughs> In the command line. In the command line. Oh, in the uh, command line. Okay, sorry. Yeah. We can't see where you point when you say here, Pavel. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, I have I've copied it. I copied it from above. I pasted it in my command line, and I am now hitting hit enter. Hit enter. Yep. Hit enter. And I get the same error. What? I know. So oh, there's there's a unit called the character there. There has there's to be. no space. Uh, there, that's we we think would, there's something going on in this. Yeah, it looks like space, but when you uh, pass it through uh, character decoder, there is no space. Yeah, it, it, if you delete uh, that spaces after 37 and uh, add one more space, uh, it's success. So, where did you copy that command from? That's it. Uh, I copied it from my uh, notes. Notes on my. MacBook. I see. Oh, Mac adds things sometimes, don't they? <laughs> well, yeah. there it's success. Okay, so let's let's just recap and make sure we're aligned on what just happened. We there was something funky in the in the command. Uh, it was what appeared to be a space wasn't, but when we deleted it, whatever that void was, and replaced it with a true space, it works. No, it's because I joined. Is it? <laughs> 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 You're so humble. Okay, so sorry, sorry for no, this. No, this, this is uh, it's 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 good to know. Um, frustrating, but good to know. All right, so now you have a command, a deploy command that we feel comfortable with that should work, and I'm very excited to see you bond now. All right, let's take a look and see what this looks like. So 
So one of the things that we are learning as we are more successful having um, much longer running test nets is that this visualization tool becomes less and less useful the larger <laughs> um, the larger the blockchain becomes. But let's can observe I, what yeah. can I just so you know there is a flag to this tool where you can provide depth. So it will not show you the whole graph. Oh it will show you, yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right, I have things to learn today later. All right, so if you're following along on the right-hand side of my screen is a visualization of the, the network as it exists right, I mean, not the network, the, the DAG as it exists right now. So these are the three validators that are part of the um, test net. They, they came up at Genesis as validators and they are validating away. You can see here the Genesis block at the bottom. Uh, we're not seeing finalization and, and I think the correct answer, if somebody jump in and tell me I'm wrong, is the fact that we have five known validators and only three are validating. So finalization, um, when it happens, would take significantly longer or um, so we're not going to see quick finalization in this in this session today. Josh, he thinks you're bonded. All right, let's see. I do see the block yeah, flashing. Yay. Okay. All right, so let me know if you if you're bonded, let me know after you've uh, proposed a block or two and we'll take a look at the diagram and see what that looks like. We have six validators in the bonds file, which is half, which is fault tolerance zero, which won't result in finalization either. Okay, thanks. Um, I will call out one of the things that happened uh, that testers observed last week that it was funky in our in our platform is the the placement of the node um, node log uh, was ending up in a file that was based on where you, where wherever you were when you ran the run command that has been resolved um, so you used to see let's see let me show you what you used to see. It was this one. the The node log was ending up in a in a weird place in this data in this directory, um, and that has been fixed. So now the log is is nicely back in the R node data directory as it is supposed to be. So um, should you need to shut down and clean up, you don't need to go looking for this file anymore. So that's all very good news there. All right, so NetZipper is happily proposing a way. Yeah, but I, yeah. Uh, I I'm got... so excited about your run command, I mean your deploy command. That's such a relief. Uh, sorry? I'm ah. just excited that you can deploy Rolang. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, that's good. But now I catched in very special block. No! Um, Okay, let me make sure I understand what you've done so far. You deployed both of the bonding contracts, yes? Yes. And you um, 
I, you proposed blocks, you proposed so that those contracts are in blocks? Uh, yes, I proposed. Mm -hmm. And so what block do you expect to see your, your key in? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. So if you proposed, you would, you would, well, you would, what, what block should I, uh, what block should I, uh, should I search for my key? Oh, okay. I should, uh, I should check uh, what uh, is the block at, uh, at which I'm proposed and I should uh, to seek for the next block to search uh, to my public key in inside or, or which, which, which is block that I should to find. Um, let me make sure I ask the qu this question correctly. So you, de you deployed Rolang to one of the known, to the known validator. Did you also queue that validator to propose? Mm, no, I thought they are out of proposing. They are. Oh. And so, and they are, and um, it's a little tricky to track. Yeah. So, so which? No, no, it's fine. It's it's fine. Which um, validator did you deploy to? Can you put put the um, address in the chat, please? Yeah. And then, well, let's go spelunking. Okay. Tomas, can you help me know which validator NoteZipper deployed to? What's the number? Um, so. It's validator zero three. All right, so how are we going to find this? Do you have a time, Nezipa, do you have a timestamp for when you did the deploys? Or, uh, Kent, if Nutzipper already did the deploys and we can't figure out where they are, can he just do it again? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, so let's let's do it this way, Nutzipper. Um, deploy again to this validator, and once you've made those deploys, also queue that validator to propose. Again, this is not the in. This is not how it's going to work in the end. But for right now, let's try it that way. That way, you will see the block for sure where your deploy files are. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I haven't done that yet. So I, there is some command to make that uh, validator to propose a block. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, you know, it would be our node and then specify the gRPC host and then say propose. Uh, okay. Joshi, what type of rolling did you deploy a bit ago that caused fun things to happen? Uh, it was just a bunch of prints to standard out. I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Did you see the text come across? I did. Yes. I saw this thing scroll by. I'm like, what is Joshi doing? Let's go see. Did you kill? Oh. Oh, there it is. Shoot. Oh, no, I can't find it. Yes, that's what I saw. I actually did it that way, hoping that someone would give me feedback that they saw it, so I'm glad you did. Yeah, I saw it, in, and uh, I also saw it pop up in Jim's log, too. Mm. Okay. 
Kelly, is this the right command? Could you check in the chat? Yes, yes that's correct. I also did a propose to the address Jesse, Joshi gave. Mm -hmm. And were, were you doing that with the intent of, um, are, you, are you, did you propose, are you, oh God, Kelly, come on. Are you trying to bond, Jim? Is that yes. what you were proposing? Okay, excellent. Oh, looky here. All right, so if you're looking at my screen, uh, these are the, the, starting from the far right are the three existing validators, and here's Joshi 189. And you can see that since he has joined as a validator, he is adding blocks. And of course, we're not going to see finalization here, just based on the way the other validators are performing right now. Not super, how did that work out? Yeah, I made that validator proposing. Now I'm uh, searching for my public key in that block. Excellent. What what block number is it? Five nine five? No, uh, B D B three F. In the chat. Thank you. Okay, I can see my public key in that block. All right. Now trying to propose. Yes. I'm really nervous, not super. I hope it works. Me too. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know that I can force some validator to propose a block. <laughs> it well, was... and and it's important. Yes, I mean it's good to know, and in this situation, it's it's critical, but. That's not absolutely not the way that it's going to work. Um, you yeah. don't want somebody hijacking your node and forcing it to do things. But it's much, much more handy. It is handy, right? Because now you know for sure where your key ended up. You know where that block is. Yeah, I success. Succeed in creating block. I am so excited. So <laughs> dev team, 
we're done. Like we we don't have to worry about bonding anymore because not we go home. Bond. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> I mean, we're all sitting at home. I'm at home. <laughs> Yay! All right, let's go take a look. Sorry, guys, for making you nervous. No, no, no. It wasn't. Uh, I think it was good to have something to focus on. Like, if Nut Zipper can do it, we're all set. And there it is. <laughs> Look at that. All right. So, if you're looking yeah. at my screen going from the right, we've got the known validators one through four. And then there's Joshi. And then there's Nut Zipper. And I am so crazy excited to see your little block. Observe finalization also. We're not going to observe more, finalization. There is finalization because now we have more validators. Oh, we do. Closing. Yeah, exactly. So the, the balance changed, and the validators that are the, the ones that we provide are smaller. They have about 1,000 weight. So everyone is e kind of equal, mm -hmm. and we can have finalization now because there, there is enough validators proposing. Thank you for that. Look at that. Oh, my day's still made because NutZipper made a block. I'm so excited. Okay, so we have demonstrated uh, bonding works. Um, Jim, are you still working on the bonding process? Yep. I got, uh, what do I got? Uh, I proposed, uh, who? Is, where is this? Uh, uh, I don't know why I got all this output here. Um, I proposed a block, mm -hmm. and uh, that was uh, F A E F D. Uh, and I see it. And I'm not sure why I'm doing it, but I'm looking for my uh, public key in that block. Yeah, so let me just confirm, you um, you deployed both the bond and the forward files, correct? Yeah. Did you deploy them and then propose? Is that how that worked out? Yes. OK, perfect. Um, so yeah, you can look around in this block for your public key, or you could attempt to, um, you could deploy rolling to your node and propose from your node, and um, the, the goal would be to see a success message. Okay, now I see in that block, bonds validator list, I see my key. Excellent. Oh, Jim, we're so close. All right. So now you want to deploy some rolling to your node, not through the other validator. And after you've deployed to your node, propose to your node, and you should see a success message and a block number. I got, did not write as much data as expected. Well, that's a new one for, to me. Did not write as much data as expected. What does that mean? Oh, 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 oh. Did you, did you specify a flow amount? Um, Can you? Can you put in the, um, oh wait, whoa, whoa. And also what, what are you deploying? I deployed uh, uh, a uh, directory dot uh, directory uh, 
contract. Uh, okay. Can you, um, are you able to deploy something that's um, more, maybe more simple, like a hello world or any of the other um, rolling contracts that are in the examples folder? Looks like you ran out of flow. Yeah, I think so too. You said so what? You ran out of phlogiston. You ran out of gas. So what was your, can you paste, Paste in the chat, please, your um, deployment command. Um, okay, I, ju I just uh, deployed uh, hello.row. Excellent. Let's see how that goes. And did it say success? Uh, it's in the middle. Yes, and then it's, it's doing the propose now, and yep. I got the uh, invalid block, uh, invalid transaction. So maybe sounds like you still ran out of flow. Yeah, I also see the the. What's your flow? Jim, hey, hey, Jim, please paste. Put in the in the Zoom chat, please. Your deploy command that you just, your deploy command that you just used. Yeah, I I just uh, scrolled back to what I had used previously. So okay, just paste it so we can see. It may be bogus. Um, uh, where's this Jim? Oh yeah. Okay. Let's let's update your deploy command. Ah, not that. Okay. So Jim, you need to. Include our node. Okay, ah, I hate it when it corrects the dashes. I'm gonna mess them up if I do that. Hold on just a second, Jim. Uh, okay, I'm going to paste something in the chat window, but you're going to have to fix the two, the two flat, the flag in front of flow limit. Does that make sense? Yeah, and the file name. All right, I'll just take that. Okay, so fix fix the flag in front of flow limit, and then add your um, your rolling file at the end. I can just uh, add the flow limit, right? Yeah, and take out like your deploy command had flag f. And uh.
Okay. I see an invalid block. Oh, that's the old one. Thanks, Joshi. What's happening for you, Jim? Oh, I see you deployed. Um, I, uh, I did it twice. Um, the first time I don't know what I did wrong, but uh, I used dash P instead of dash dash low limit, and I got it. Uh, I got a. Uh, well, I got the same thing again. Invalid block, neglected invalid block. But isn't that the, that's the other block that you proposed, the beat, the. I got, first time I got invalid transactions when I put in the wrong command. Uh-huh, right. Then I got neglected invalid block when I try it again. Oh, I see. Yeah, I see. Twice I got in the neglected the dollar block. Um, uh, first time I typed your command, but then uh, I copied and pasted it the second time just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we did take a step forward because you were successful. The deployment was successful, um, but the block was recorded as invalid. Yeah, I guess that's a bug. Um, I think so because you we you should we you could, should expect to be able to recover from if you've record if you for whatever reason accidentally proposed a block that was invalid, you should be able to recover the next time you do it correctly, right? Right. Yes. I, or, well, ex the, the bug is that um, it shouldn't be considered an invalid block to propose a, or to deploy a transaction that is invalid, or it, that has okay. run, run out of gas. Okay. And, um, we can't, well, I guess we could temporarily do something about it, but it, like the, the final form should be that. It should say it has run out of gas and the transaction should be marked as invalid and then that should be packaged in that valid block. Um, yeah. Okay. So the block itself would be valid. For now, could you just restart your R node? This should clean up the cache of invalid blocks. Jim, does that make sense? I was in the process of restarting. Excellent. <laughs> Great minds. Yeah, it's worth a try. <laughs> And you'll probably have to clear your R node directory just because um, uh, the invalid our, block is still, yeah. still hanging there. around. Okay, well.
All right, let's take a peek. So um, will I have to rebind that? Rebind the. Uh, uh, no, uh, your bond still exists on the blockchain. Um, so but I can just re remove the whole directory. Uh, that Arno. Yeah, no, you're gonna. You will lose your private key. You need to uh, remove no. parts of something. Or not? No, you won't. That's not true for me. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah so generates it from the uh, command line argument. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, Jim, if you use the same key set that you used before, you do have to though clear the whole R node directory, including the block store, because of the existence of the invalid block. So your your node's going to have to catch up, not too far. It looks like there's only 30, 40 blocks. But your bond still exists on the on the blockchain, even though you've disconnected and cleaned up. You'll just have to re-add it to your DAG. <clears throat> oh, 50 bucks. That's uh, good to know that you can start fresh without re having to rebond. Uh, what's happening now? Uh oh. Uh oh. What did I do? You shut down. Oh. I see your node came back up. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh. Um, I, I stopped it. Uh, I stopped it to remove the directory and start it, but accidentally had to start. Oh, I see. It. I see. Okay. All right. Well, so while Jim is working on that, we've got about three minutes to the top of the hour. Uh, let's just recap what we did today. Um, we had an existing network with four validators and we're successful in bonding um, two uh, markedly NetZipper, which is a big win in my book for today. So I'm just going to rest heavy on those laurels today that NetZipper is bonded. He is now validating, um, and that is great news. I'm going to sleep well tonight. Um, we've also um, considered it to be a bug, uh, you know, deploying rolling um, that runs out of gas shouldn't create an invalid block. We'll document that and um, add it to the backlog to resolve. Um, anything else that we should note here? Well, I'll just note that uh, Jim and I are going to have Rolang learning hours next, right after this in uh, in his room. I'll I'll drop the link in the chat here if anyone wants to come. Fantastic, thanks, Joshi. So, if you're interested in learning more about Rolang, please join Jim and Joshi at the, in the next two minutes. And Jim, can are you going to? I'm going to close the session uh, since, especially since you guys are moving over to uh, Rolang hours. But can you keep your node running? Once you get it restarted, okay. Yeah, it's re it's running. Okay. It's catching up. Yep. So it's going to take some time to catch up, um, but it shouldn't take too long. And then uh, I'm curious to see if you can go through the exercise of of deploying and proposing again. Um, I'll be online. You can ping me if you want to do that together. And I, I'll uh, 